All right, so let's look at finding equations of ellipses. Now I'll have several videos, check them all out. I'm trying to hit everything you would come across. So let's look at this. We've got the ellipse. Uh, it's in the form x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared equals 1, where a is greater than or equal to b, which is greater than 0. Foci plus or minus c, 0. And c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared. And vertices plus or minus a, 0. All right. All right, and this, uh, the vertices, this negative a0 to a0, this line segment that joins these, this is called the major axis, and then the line segment that joins 0b and 0 negative b, that would be the major axis. Notice, and this is what's important here, is the a is larger than b, so the larger number will be under x in this case and you can see it uh, the the larger axis is going horizontal uh, and then if we have an ellipse x squared over b squared plus y squared over a squared equals 1 notice a is larger so now the larger one is underneath y it has foci 0 plus or minus c okay and c squared is equal to a squared minus b squared and the vertices are 0 plus or minus a. So this would be your major axis here and this would be the minor axis. Now uh, another thing notice here that these ellipses here the center is at 0 0. Okay. Now you may have an ellipse where the center is not at 0 0. So how would that look? Well, it would look similar to this, but the equation would be like this, x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. And then for this one, it would be similar, x minus h squared over b squared plus y minus k squared over a squared equals 1. So this is what you're going to have to pay attention to. Okay, you'll have to you'll have to really watch that to get the center and uh, and know how it the which way the major axis is. Okay, we look for the larger number. All right, so let's look at some examples. All right, let's see what we've got here on this example. It says find an equation for the ellipse that has foci at plus or minus 4, 0, and passing through the point negative 4, 1.8. All right, so let's just sketch what we've got so far. So if we draw that, all right, so we've got foci at negative four zero, four zero, and we've got a point at negative four one point eight. So negative four we'll go up almost to 2 right there. So we've got this point here. So our parabola is going to look something like, you know, it's going to come around here like this. It's not a very good drawing, but you get the idea. Okay, the vertices are out here. Okay, the this is the major axis, it's horizontal we see that the center is going to be at 0, 0 because it's right in the middle of the, it's halfway between the foci. So it'll be at 0, 0. So let's just write down what our, equa our equation is going to be. It's going to be 
x squared over a squared plus y squared over b squared. Remember the major axis is horizontal so a goes under the x. If the major axis was vertical the a would go under the y. Okay. Alright so this is what we've got to uh, get. We've got to get a and B. We got to figure out what A and B is. Well, remember the foci. This is plus or minus C zero. Okay, and we also know that C squared is equal to A squared minus B squared. So, you know, it looks like we might have a tough problem, but let's look at this you've got a formula so let's say we've got a we've got an ellipse like this okay and we've got foci here and here and we'll call this one this is the first focus that's the second one and then just say you have a point anywhere we'll call this point P okay so the, there's a formula. See if we take this distance and this distance, and like I said, it doesn't matter where the where the point is. Okay. There's a formula that says 2a is equal to the distance from point P to the first focus plus the distance from point P to the second focus. Okay. So if you look at our problem here, we've got this right here. All right. We've got this point here, negative four, zero. We've got this point, four, zero. And we've got this point, negative four, one point eight. All right. So this distance plus this distance is equal to 2a. Alright. So let's look. I'm going to write the, let me write that formula up here somewhere out of the way. So we've got 2a is equal to the distance from point 1 to the first focus plus point 2. Ah, plus the point plus the distance from the point to the second focus. Okay, so that's what that's the formula we're going to use to get A. And then once I get A, I can plug it into here because I know C and I can solve for B. Alright. So I've got 2A is equal to this distance. Well this is easy because negative 4 to negative 4, well What's that? That's just 1.8. You see that? That's 1.8, that distance, because that's just, that's a vertical distance there. The x's are the same, so the distance from 0 to 1.8 is 1.8. And then we've got to add the distance from this point to this point. So there we'll have to use the distance formula. Remember, the distance formula is equal to the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Okay, That's the distance formula. And I guess we'll call this x1, y1. We'll call this point x2, y2. And that, that really doesn't matter. All right, so I've got x2, which is... 4 minus x1, which is negative 4, squared, plus y2, which is 0, minus y1, which is 1.8, squared. Okay, So that's going to give us 2a is equal to 1.8 plus, and that's going to be the square root of 8 squared plus 1.8 squared and so we get 2a equals 
well let's just do this if you punch all this into your calculator you'll end up with 10 okay all right and so that tells us that a is equal to 5 so now we've got a now all we got to do is get B and we have our equation so I've got C squared okay I'm going to use this formula here C squared well C is 4 right that's the distance from the center out to the focus is 4 so that's 4 squared equals A squared which is 5 squared minus B squared so if I move the B squared over that's B squared equals 5 squared is 25 move the 4 squared over so that's minus 16 4 squared is 16 and so I get B squared equals 9 and so now I've got B squared I've got A I can plug everything into here so my answer is going to be X squared over A squared well A is what 5 so 5 squared is 25 plus y squared over b squared well b squared is 9 and that equals 1 right. so I hope that video helped uh, check out my other videos give me a like share and subscribe and thanks for watching